Good morning, good afternoon. I don't know when you're playing this, but my name is Carol Horlock and I'm the assistant principal at Godalming College. And it gives me pleasure to talk to you about the college and to talk to you about the open evenings that we've got coming up. So this is really all about you. Do you know what? You're gonna be leaving school in 2022 and what you will do next um, is your choice and you've got so many options that are open to you. Um, you'll have to be in full-time education or employment with training or something like that, like an apprenticeship. Um, but if you're looking for a place in full-time education, you are spoiled for choice. We've got so many options available to us in this area, but it's really important for you to take the time to think about what is going to be right for you. So. How do you like to learn? What are the subjects that you like learning at school? What interests you in the world around you, in the community? What do you think are your very best skills? So those are the kind of questions that you need to consider in making your choice for post-16 education. If you find it hard to think about those things, then a really good idea is to talk to your friends, talk to your family. What do they think about you? Do you think that they're, you know, they're right in some of what they say? Think about how your skills, your interests could be applied to your future education. So post-16 education is post-compulsory education. What that means is it's your choice. There is no compulsion to go one way or the other. So when you've thought about what you want to study, how you want to study it, then you don't need to start thinking about the place that you want to study it. And that's where, um, that's where this talk is coming in. And you're going to hear talks from other schools and colleges as well um, about why we're all great places to study. So you might want to think about mm, specialist teachers. Are there specialist teachers at the college? Perhaps equipment and facilities, uh, enrichment, what else can you do besides your qualifications? It's more, it's important that you are getting an all-round fulfilling education as well as some really good grades, okay? So it's really important for you to think about what you're going to do and make sure it's right for you and not choose things just because your friends are doing it. So why would you choose a sixth form college? Now let's think about this. You are spoiled for choice. You've got sixth form colleges, you've got school sixth forms, you've got general FE colleges, but what makes a sixth form college really special? And what does set us apart is the fact that we have specialist teachers. Many of our teachers um, have master's degrees in their subjects or doctoral degrees in their subjects. They love what they're doing and they love to help you learn it as well. So we're focused on those A-level and level three BTEC qualifications and our teaching is not diluted by um, GCSE education or by teaching younger years. As part of a national network of sixth form um, colleges, we provide outstanding results. Our students get outstanding results and often they get better grades um, than their GCSE results would predict. And that's called value added. So we're making sure that you're being prepared for your next step, whether that's going out to work, an apprenticeship or going on to university. So moving on to a sixth form college also gives you that fresh start in a more adult environment. And here, you know, there's a different routine. You might have to travel into college. You get to meet loads of different people from loads of different places. And the ethos here at Godalming, again, is a little bit different. So let me tell you more uh, about Godalming itself. So as you can see on the screen, we've got our exam results from 2020 and we're very proud that our students have been able to achieve consistently, year on year, very high results. And again, as I said, in excess of the results that their GCSE grades might predict. So students with us, they work hard to achieve their results because they're so committed. And that really comes from having that committed staff that I talked about in the last slide as well. 
We want you to fulfill your ambitions and you will be creating your own opportunities when you come to study at Godalming. So we're very proud that we can support our students not only with expert teaching, um, but also guidance in, a, in an environment that really promotes learning and progression. You have a choice about what you do next and our students have a choice about what they do next and we want to help them make wise choices about that. So you may not know exactly what you want to do in life, okay, but Godalming College is a good place to help you work out what is going to be right for you. Let's think about that progression on from college. We prepare you for life. Now, the Higher Education Statistics Authority um, is really helpful in providing uh, the information that you can see on the screen for you there. And of the students that go to university, which is most, most of our students, um, a higher proportion of students from Godalming College go to better universities, get a first or a 2-1 degree than even independent schools. Now we're very proud of that um, and, I, and I hope that you're going to be proud of being a part of that college too. So choosing the right studying program is really really important for your success and we have got um, a whole variety of courses you can choose from over 40 of them and you would choose the equivalent of three core subjects either at A level or at the BTEC National Diploma or at national level or a mixture of those courses. Uh, some of the BTEC courses offer two or three A-level equivalents but still there is that opportunity to mix or match or specialise in an area that is right for you. Alongside your core subjects, alongside those subjects that are going to get you to university or apprenticeships or employment, uh, we're also invested in your development, which is why we have such a wide offering of enrichment courses. It is unique to Godalming. Uh, we're very proud of um, the talent that our staff have to add into the enrichment program. And we're very proud of what students have achieved as a result of taking some of these enrichment courses. So the way it works is that you take two short courses alongside three core subjects and they can be entirely outside of your subject areas or complementary to that to your subjects but it's important that you do something that interests you so in our plus explore um, we can we have courses from a wide variety of areas uh, anything from dissection club to investment society to run 5k there's something to interest almost everyone in that we also have the active courses, so doing performing arts activities, music uh, activities, sport, Duke of Edinburgh, and sometimes a, a one-year qualification might be right for you. At Godalming College, we also work very, very closely with our students. We're working in partnership. It's all of us working for the same aim that the students are going to achieve the best that they can. Uh, and we work very, very closely with the Students' Union, which is um, by the students for the students. They support a range of student clubs and societies and also act as the voice of our students. So it's very important to us that we work together. In terms of supporting you, the students, We've got a whole range of people, a whole range of departments and services to help you, ranging from the personal tutor that you're going to meet um, every week uh, to careers that you might concentrate on meeting at the end of your course. We also have our health and well-being uh, coordinator, the counselling team, ongoing learning and study support and don't forget, don't forget your subject teachers in this. They are there to help you learn. The resources in the college range from our outstanding, fantastic teachers to those great facilities which are dedicated specifically for students. Remember, Students are at the heart of what we do. So each subject area has 
outstanding industry standard equipment for you to use. You'll have everything that you need to complete your studies, to complete your course, and the knowledge and the skills in order to progress. Alongside that, we've got some fantastic study spaces. Whether you like to work in a group and, and join social study, or you really got to get that assignment done, so you head up to silent study to get your home, to get your head down and get that work done. There are the right places for you that suit your needs, that enable you to develop those independent learning skills outside of your lesson time as well. Because our community, because college is part of a community, working and learning together is absolutely fundamental to what we do. And that includes the student dining rooms, the bistro, Starbucks and Costa, places where you can meet your friends and relax. It's all about you as a whole person. Um, and again, if you're involved in Richmond, we have some of the best drama, music and sporting facilities in the area. So make sure that you get involved. One of the things that sets Gotham in College apart is this fantastic atmosphere. It's friendly, it's vibrant, and we hope that you're gonna feel that as soon as you step inside the door. And that sense of community is so important to us. We're all working together for student success, for students to be able to meet their potential. Students call staff by their first names and we value our role in the wider community as well, working with schools, other colleges, employers, universities, all for your benefit. Don't just take this from me. I think you need to hear from some students as well. Hi, my name's Dominic Ferris and I'm the president of the Student Union. Kind of what I'll be doing today is kind of showing you around the college, maybe look at a few lessons, kind of see the main buildings, the social areas, the library, kind of all of that. And I'll kind of also give you a kind of overview of who I am and kind of why I chose this college. Because ultimately I went to a very small school. There wasn't many people at my school and there's about 2,000 students at this college. So in terms of taking a big jump, that is certainly what I did. Now people who would also take similar big jumps would kind of be worrying about going to a college this big is actually what you get is a much wider range of courses which is what I got here where I'm doing politics economics and business and then also one of the main aspects is the social aspect because it's all like the education is great it is great here but actually what you get socially is I know a lot of people I didn't know many when I came to the college and actually what I've found as I've kind of started I've been here about a year and a half now the environment around the college has actually made it quite easy to kind of um, talk to people and get to learn not new people, maybe from my own subjects or just through mutual friends. So one of the main benefits of Godalming is not just the educational aspects you get out of it, but also the social aspects you get out of it. And that's kind of, you see that a lot with kind of getting the trains college or maybe the bus, um, just kind of all of the aspects of college life that you might not think about are actually quite beneficial towards your overall experience. And actually taking that big jump for me has helped me kind of understand that and be able to relay that to other people because I think it's really important. And I think if we start to head inside, I can show you the main building. Yeah, so this is the 100s. It's the main building in the college. I don't actually do any of my main courses in here, um, but I do core maths here. So that's my enrichment option. And what the enrichment is, is there's lots of different facets that you can go with the enrichment. So the core maths is kind of like the quite academic side, but there's like, if you're an adventurous kind of person, there's D of E. Um, all of the different kind of silver and gold with that. There's team sports, if you're kind of more of an athletic kind of person, you enjoy getting out. Um, there's lots of kind of drama and music options that you can take. So in general, the enrichment is very broad. There's a, a lot you can do. Last year I did debating and uh, investment society, but there's everything from kind of beginner Spanish uh, to like robotics. So there's a lot you can do with it. And I personally think core math is gonna be good for kind of where I'm going with uni, just having another qualification. Um, so it's just going to be very beneficial for me and in general in this building you've got the maths, you've got all of the science, um, so there's a lot of different, there's a lot that goes on in this building, a lot of the senior management are set up here so it's one of the main buildings in the college, it's the oldest building in the college, it's a very old building um, and I'll now hand you over to Kieran who will bring you into his lesson. Hi I'm Kieran, um, I used to be a student last year at Godwin College um, so I've done the Diploma IT course and the main bits that I'm going to be talking about are just the games design, 
uh, animation and web design parts of the course. So the web design, it, you, you end up creating your own website that you can even keep using if you want. You can then just put it on your, you run it yourself. Um, that's quite fun. There are different aspects of the web design. So there's coding, then there's also using some software that we have at the college. You follow some tutorials on how to create a website and then um, at the end of that you then create your own so that can be about anything, anything you want it to be about. So the animation is actually really fun. Um, so that we used different types of software, some ranging from really easy software um, like Pivot and Pencil um, to more complicated software like uh, Flash, Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate. Um, now, what can happen is you can actually, the college have contact with a couple artists, like music artists, and um, depending on the year, they let you use one of their songs or multiple of them. So actually, uh, either last year or the year before while I was here, I did my animation on a Kate Rusby song, and um, she liked it a lot that she ended up giving me a ticket to go see her live at G Live. Um, so that was quite good. Um, it's just really fun to get into. Then there's games design, which everyone loves, usually. <laughs> um, games design, there's multiple different software that we've got. You follow tutorials again on how to create a game. Then you can create any game you want in a few weeks. Doesn't take very long. Um, there's great support and it's just a really good idea to get into. Um, I mean, if you're not so keen on the more academic subjects, then there's ones like game design, animation and web design that can get you into jobs in the future. So this is the 200s building. So you've got the business just down the corridor, economics, uh, politics, there's history. Um, and then above is the library. But I mean, luckily for me, is I kind of do quite similar subjects. So all my business, politics and economics are all basically next to each other. Um, and they're all in this building. So this is where I spend the majority of my time. Now, I'd say one of the main benefits of my politics is I love the debating. So I've always loved to argue. So it's kind of an area with my subject that has been really good for me. Um, economics is a lot of kind of theory that is quite thought provoking and interesting and business is quite similar to that. So in general, the subjects I've chosen are quite nuanced in the sense that you do probably need to go to a kind of a sixth form college rather than a school, but most schools will offer these subjects, um, but you'll get the kind of specialist teachers here as well. So it's quite, it's quite helpful in that sense. And you get a lot of kind of debates in the lessons. There's obviously the extracurricular debating that I've been talking about. Um, and in general, it's all just quite enjoyable and keeps you engaged in your lessons. So you're also enjoying it rather than just learning. The centre of London is majority paper. But once you get to the outskirts... Politics is great, so today we were looking at an article from just a few months ago about the Northern Research Group and how Northern MPs have had to adapt to try and keep their seats. And this is why politics is good, because it gives you context about what is going on in the country and helps you understand the actions of politicians, because it's so current. Uh, we also learn through looking at current affairs and also through uh, debates. And yeah, it's really good. It's probably somewhere else. I don't know, Somerset. It is Somerset, yeah. Yeah, so, so the, I mean, this is the library. Um, normally, we'd obviously be able to use the books more, but actually, uh, with the kind of situation, it's quite easy that we've been able to move to the online stuff. Um, so it's quite easy to access anything online. We've got lots of books and resources, textbooks, all of that, that they kind of, they, if they set you it, you can normally find it online and access it through there. So that's absolutely fine. There's lots of computers to use. So if you're ever kind of having to finish long assignments um, and typing it up, there's certainly enough for them. Uh, another great thing about the computers is they've all got charging ports. So if you either bring in like a MacBook or you bring in your phone, obviously, and your headphones, anything you need charging, as long as you've got a cable with you, you'll have no problem charging it if you're also working at the same time. And actually, the difference between like A levels and GCSE is, isn't just kind of the course content. It's like you only take three or four A levels or, or level three B text, depending on what courses you take. But obviously you take a lot more GCSEs. So you kind of, you focus your efforts into kind of three or four specific subjects, um, which makes it a lot easier in that sense, even if the course contents may be a bit more challenging as you kind of want it to be at the higher levels. So what you will find over your kind of your two years at the college or three years, however long you take is 
it will become more specific and it will be harder but actually that kind of you will enjoy your subjects because you'll be able to pick the ones you want and actually being able to focus on one area or three areas is a lot easier than maybe taking eight or nine GCSEs. Yeah, I mean, so this is the sports building. I mean, you've got sports halls in there. There's the gym upstairs. There's a lot of pitches, whether it's for rugby or football. I mean, pointing kind of in that direction, there's a, there's a pitch right outside adjacent to the car park, but even kind of towards the back of the college, just outside off campus, there's a load more football and like rugby pitches. So they'd certainly do a lot here. I mean, the hockey team in 2018, 19 actually went and won the AOC national championships. And then the football team made it to the national final and actually played at Stokes ground at the Britannia. So that in terms of kind of getting involved with sports and that, if that's something you're interested in, God, I mean, do a lot of that through a variety of different sports. They still do like rugby, uh, basketball, so all of those kind of different areas. And the gym's also very well equipped, so you can certainly stay fit here. I mean, the walk up the hill in itself will probably keep you fit throughout the two years. But if you're kind of looking to go past then, then there's certainly enough here to kind of uh, accomplish that. Um, and then also, we've got a great dance studio, so I'll kind of bring you towards the dance studio, and then I'll let them talk to you. Today we're focusing on our dance section of our sh final showcase of the year for performing arts. We have to do singing, dancing and acting because that's the kind of things we'll have to do in auditions for drama school and for our showcase at the end of the year there's going to be people from the business coming in and kind of marking us and giving us feedback for what it would have been like if that was an audition for drama school. Yeah and also like saying whether they would accept us or reject us and why. Yeah. For those and reasons. then help us improve and, and develop. For those of us wanting to go to drama school, it will help to get that feedback so we can know what we need to do better, what we're doing well at the moment, so we can build on that and try and uh, give ourselves as good a chance as possible to get in next year. It's very hard to get into yeah. drama school. Yeah. I mean, this is um, the English block. Um, it's definitely the newest building in the college. A lot of the buildings, like the sports building, they're all quite new and the resources are good. This was only opened in 2016 by the poet laureate at the time, Carol Ann Duffy, which is quite cool for kind of like the English students who you might, like I did her at GCSE, I read, some, uh, we studied some of her poems. So I think that's actually quite cool because I'd only kind of realised that when I was looking at the quotes and how the kind of the college had opened it. So um, we've got an English lesson to look into, so I'll just hand over to them. Some notes, that would be fantastic. Um, just kind of trying to capture... In English, we're designing a vaccination campaign for COVID, mainly aimed at older people, so people who are more vulnerable, but also younger people in order to protect uh, their loved ones. Um, I've designed a social media banner poster sort of thing, um, and we've included lots of persuasive language like a phrase, uh, let's get life back to normal, which is sort of a soft imperative. And it will stick in people's heads because it's quite a short statement and it shows that we're working together as a community to get life back to normal, pretty much. And uh, don't procrastinate, vaccinate, which is rhythmic and sort of a play on words and will stay in people's heads. Um, but in English, other people have also done like leaflets, like information leaflets and posters and things like that. Yeah, so this is the piazza. Um, there's a lot of kind of, the social interactions will normally go on here if it was a nicer day. I mean, there's a bit of sun, but it's a bit rainy at the moment, but ultimately it's pretty decent. Uh, you've got the kind of food areas in that direction. I mostly get my chicken panini from Costa, but there's also a Starbucks, there's a deli counter where you can get, kind of get pizza and there's like a pasta place with the bistro. So there's a lot of food that you can get here. The kind of the social interactions, like I said, I didn't know many people and I've kind of got to know a lot of new people through the piazza, kind of areas like that. And then in that direction is the art block and bearing in mind I'm not an arty person at all, I'll hand you over to them. So in the beginning we get loads of help, we're like bombarded with techniques, so if, especially if you don't know a lot about art or if you didn't take it to see, don't worry, like they'll, they give you loads of stuff, they really hold your hand through the first half term, full term. And then they give you opportunity to work outwards and explore your own ideas. So I've been doing like pencil work and more pen because I really like that technique that we used. And you get to choose oils if you like oils, but you don't have to do like fine art. You can go and do sculpture, um, woodwork, textiles, anything that really takes your fancy. And yeah, there's just a lot more freedom. It's just a space to open up and try new things. And yeah, it's really, really refreshing.
so this is the car park now i mean i'm learning to drive and hopefully i'll be passing my test soon so this will be somewhere that i i'll probably end up parking in uh when i'm coming into college in the morning but i mean you can still kind of cycle uh get the train so there's always all the different avenues to explore but this is kind of one of the main areas uh we won't discuss we won't disturb the people over in the drama block i know they've got a lot of performances going on at the moment i think they've got a performance pretty cool one actually in a few weeks where they're all kind of people are sitting in their cars to be able to socially distance properly but they'll be beaming the performance across the car park and they'll have people dancing around through the um through the car park and you can hear it through your sound system so it's quite innovative and interesting in that sense but we'll leave them be um so yeah really it's just kind of showing you the the different options you have when you come to college and kind of being able to be more independent yeah so i'll just drop into our last lesson here we've got biology in this building so we'll just let you get in there and have a look at that lesson. We're doing quite practical six um, and we're practicing our aseptic techniques to explore um, antibiotic resistance. So what we've done is we've got two um, different types of bacteria and we have used aseptic techniques to transfer those bacteria onto some agar plates and that is the culture that helps the bacteria grow. We have placed some antibiotic rings on this culture and we will see how much bacteria grows around each different antibiotic to see the effectiveness of each antibiotic and whether it prohibits their growth. Yeah, so I was thinking just before we went to see Emma, the principal, I'd kind of give you an idea of kind of what I'm planning on doing past college because obviously I've only got about half a year left. Um, I'm personally looking at unis, so I've applied to Durham, Bristol, Exeter, Loughborough and Manchester. So I've already got some offers back for there where I'll be taking politics and international relations, hopefully. And that's kind of where college has kind of been setting me up for the future. But also, if, even if you're not doing like looking at unis and you're looking at apprenticeships or jobs past then, there's a lot of careers advice. Um, the tutor group sessions every week, we cover a lot of that. We look at kind of uni applications. Uh, I spent a lot of time with my tutor and the careers department kind of formulating my, um, my, like my application uh, and all of that. So they've kind of had a look at everything and my personal statement, we... I got a lot of feedback on that to kind of make it better and formulate where I was looking at. So they give you a lot of advice there, but the same, they do the same with apprenticeships and kind of anything else that you're looking at. Um, you just ask for the help and the college are here to give you the help. So I think now that I've kind of explained that and we've had a look at that, um, we'll go see Emma now. Hi, Doc. Hey, How you doing? Yeah, decent. We've just been showing the students around the um, college. I'm going to look at different things, talking about different course options and just thought I'd let them See you. Oh, that's nice. So you're showing off the brilliant facilities we've got around the college? Yeah, I just thought I'd let you have a little chat with them while you're oh, here. That's very nice. You know me too well, Dom. I would love to just have a quick chat. Um, just a couple of things I really want to say. Firstly, um, you might not always get the full sense of it from the video, but the wonderful sense of community that we have here at the college. It's something that the students uh, feed back to us consistently through focus groups and uh, questionnaires we do. And I think that's really important. Um, and the students really enjoy, don't they, working with teachers uh, in partnership to help them achieve their potential. And then secondly, you mentioned courses there, Dom. Um, yeah. We're really proud of the huge range of course choices that we have here for students. Um, you can pretty much put any combination of subjects that you want to do together. Um, so it really can suit each individual student, their interests, their needs, their abilities. And then alongside that, obviously at Godalming, we really promote the Plus Enrichment Programme. And we expect all students to be part of that. The reason we do that is to help you stand out from the crowd when you make your application for the next stage, whatever that may be. Um, and we hope students, in looking at that offer, will find something that really suits them, whether it's developing a new area of interest, um, it might be looking at a potential future career option, um, or indeed promoting their own health and well-being. Yeah. I'll stop there, Dom, now, because yeah. otherwise I will talk for hours. But anyway, thank you for popping by. Perfect. Um, anything else? About the SU now? Yeah, all right, let's yeah. do that. Take a seat. You also need to do quite a bit of research and don't just research us, research the others as well. And your research can start with our new website, www.coddleming.ac.uk or you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. I've always wanted to say that. So it's really important, apply for your place at college now. And if you have any questions, then please email us college at godalming.ac.uk. We've got lots of people here who are willing to help you. It's really important now that you can come into college that you do so. Come and see what we're like. Talk to the teachers, walk through the campus, feel that atmosphere. 
come and see us for our open evenings on Wednesday the 20th and Thursday the 21st of October and put the dates in your diary. Thanks very much for listening.